Hello and welcome. You are back to Doki Doki. I say it took me some time to get back to it because I was trying to find mods, which I found. But Doki Doki lyrics are called Plus. Does not like mods? They seem very anti-mod, so I had to re-download the original Doki Doki. But yeah, I now have mods. Not many, because apparently some of them are deleted, which makes me sad. But I have some. We'll get into that another time. <laughs> okay, uh, we are back at showing poems. We already showed our poem to Sayori, so it's time to our number one. Natsuki, 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 Natsuki. Oh, the, the Natsuki reads my poem. She keeps glancing at me, then back at the poem. By now, she must have read it more than once. Uh -huh. Huh? Is it that bad? No, no, it's not. It's good. It's really good, okay? There, I said it. Uh, this wasn't supposed to happen at all. Why can't it just be bad? Wait, oh yeah. Why can't you just be bad at this? <laughs> Cause I am good at making poems. Apparently, all my words jumbled on a piece of paper. My poems are supposed to impress you, not the other way around. You're trying to impress me? Obviously, you think I'd let you enjoy Yuri's writing more than mine? Oh, love that face. Give me a break. Well, in that case, what's the problem with me trying to impress you? I'll tell you, you... Eh. Natsuki's face freezes like she just realized something. You, you, you... You're trying to impress me? Natsuki vigorously scans her eyes over my poem one more time. So vigorously. <laughs> then the poem slips out of her hands and flutters to the floor. I... I... I I have to use the bathroom. Red faced Natsuki quickly walks out of the room. Hey, is Rocket Plus? Did you do something to Natsuki? I just saw her rush out like that. You didn't do anything terrible, did you? Um, no, I don't do terrible things. That's not my job here. N no. I just told her that my voice gets caught in my throat. There's no way I could tell Monica that I'm trying to impress Natsuki. Hmm? Mosca sees the poem lying on the floor and swiftly picks it up. She reads through it, her smile not fading from her face. I see. You wrote this for Natsuki, didn't you? I mean, not really. In fact, didn't you like her poem a lot the other day, too? I'm surprised you know her taste so well already. Are you sure you're not cheating, Sarkopus? No. I mean, yes. I, I, I would never. No, no, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, n no. Cheating? What do you mean by that? Never mind, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hmm, interesting. I didn't understand Monica's joke at all. Anyway, how do you think Natsuki feels about you? Oh, you don't need to answer that. It was just something for you to think about. Hey! Natsuki comes to the room and snatches the poem out of Monica's hands. Neither of us had noticed her re-enter the classroom. Did you read this, Monica? Of course. I liked it. Yeah. You should really stop reading things that aren't for you, you know. You have a bad habit of doing that. Eh? But Chakopas wrote this poem. And we're supposed to share it with everyone, right? You... <laughs> Natsuki freezes. She apparently forgot that my poem is technically for everyone to read. Okay, well, I think Sarkopos is done sharing this poem with everyone. It's not like anyone would want to read this anyway. <laughs> read this trash piece of crap. Sardily written for me. In fact, I'm just going to hold on to this. <laughs> if you insist. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Uh, never mind. Uh, Natsuki? I'll give you the poem, but that's still not very fair to Yuri. She hasn't gotten to read it yet. So what? Well, I guess so I can post this right, Natsuki. It's not fair if you don't let everyone finish reading it. Fine. Natsuki returns my poem. It's not like she's going to like it, though. Anyway, read my poem now. And no, I won't let you keep it. This is my only copy. 
Aw. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rim of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world's better than off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. So, this is an interesting little poem. And I'm noticing with a lot of these poems, they always have a deeper meaning. Like, you know, they, of course, the people that write them do say. So what I grab out of this one, she seems to really not like Yuri. So I would assume this is about Yuri. But there's something about Yuri that she knows and she doesn't like. That's why he distanced herself from her. Now, I'm pretty sure it's not spiders. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Yuri likes spiders, but I don't know. With Yuri being so Yuri, I have a feeling it's something else. I just don't know what. But interesting, interesting. Hmm, I like it. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain the complicated issue with just the simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. That whole sentence confuses me, but I think I get it. <laughs> do you know, do you know people like that? Of course, it's a poem uh, about, wait, of course it's about how everyone thinks my, that, that, that doesn't matter. It could be about anything. I wrote, it would be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out, they make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes, as long as they're not hurting anyone, it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for their liking weird things. Oh, you're definitely right. You like manga, though a lot of other people do, so I'm really curious what you're referring to there. At least I can relate to that. I'm sure a lot of other people can too. You know, I'm glad that you can appreciate this kind of writing. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know I was talking about that yesterday, but I've been, well, I've been enjoying sharing writing my poems with, wait, I've been showing my, yeah, words, I've been enjoying sharing my writing with you. So, so consider yourself lucky, okay? <laughs> well, thanks for being honest. What's that supposed to mean? I'm always honest. Jeez. Just looking forward to tomorrow too, okay? Alright, I will. D honest, uh, sure, you're honest, that's what- She already read my poem. That doesn't make any sense, she already read my poem. Hi again, Sarkopus. That was kind of silly to not scare her, wasn't it? I'm glad the two of you have been getting along so well. That's one way of putting it. Anyway, I already read your poem, but you can go ahead and read mine now. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless... Don't ask me to pronounce that word. <laughs> I was going to say cacophony, but obviously that's not it. It's not symphony. Uh, could that be symphony? But that's a A. I want to say symphony, but I know it's not. Honestly, <laughs> cacophony. <laughs> I don't know what that word is. 
Symphony sounds like a word, but that's usually about music. Damn, I really don't know what that word is. I want to look it up. <laughs> huh. I mean, I understand what it's referring to, at least. An endless word of meaningless noise. So maybe it is symphony. It just really does not look like whatever that is. So, an endless symphony of meaningless noise. The noise. It won't stop. Violent, grazing, waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, so this poem, clearly pain, sorrow of some imaginative thing. Talks about a bunch of colors and how they're ever infinite but meaningless. This game's pretty colorful, <laughs> but I don't think it's meaningless. Uh, noise. All these, basically everything in the, ex I guess you could say, in the existence is just horrifying. And load me. I don't like load me. Load me doesn't sound great. Save me? Load me. Save you? And load you. I don't... I don't... I mean, this is clearly horrible in every way, as such as, hey, you need a hug? Like, I'm not a hug person, but I'm... I'm down to hug. Well, I am a hug person. Just depends on who. <laughs> Alright, so that's... I have many feelings. Bad and good. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just kind of a thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with the space on the paper. Choosing where and how the spatial words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. By the way, I wrote the lines really short to make it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. The poem could be abstract and a physical expression of meaning, or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monaco's writing tip of the day. That poem's about something. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to... Save your game. You never know what might ch you never know when you might change your mind, or when something unexpected may happen. I don't. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I don't like anything that just happened. All right, Yuri. Hey, Yuri. How you do? I want to spend some time with you. Um, are you still mad at me? Eh, for disrespecting Natsuki yesterday. See, I completely forgot about it. Because reading this poem, now I know why you got mad at me. Because you, you prefer her writing over mine. That's not really true. It's, no, it's not actually not really true. I like your writing too. I just like Natsuki more. Meaning, when I disrespected her, I disrespected you too, didn't I? Oh no. Yuri. You might be reading into this a little too much. How could I be so stupid? I always let these things happen. Whenever I think before I speak, I just come off as awkward and unlikable. But if I speak without thinking, the things I want to keep inside come out and pe make people hate me. So please don't force yourself to be around me. I know this is what Monica wants. I'm sorry, what? Mo Monica wants what? Monica wants people not to force themselves to be around you, or people just Monica wants people not be around you. Okay, but it's not fair to you when you could be enjoying your time with Natsuki and Sayori. Yuri, please, it makes it easier for me if you don't express any concern. Besides, I have my books with me. That's all I need. Yuri smiles sadly and puts her head down on her desk. I'm frustrated. I don't hate her. 
but it's as if she's not capable of listening to me over her own thoughts. I said to myself, all I can do is accept that it's how she is. If she wants to be left alone, then I have no choice but to abide by that request. What? No. You pussy. Get in there and talk to her. <sighs> okay, everyone. Now that everything is screwed over. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? But I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit in the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need as much more than a few decorations. Zuri has been working on the posters of design and pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Uh, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? P um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to have a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. So you're always putting up all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sarah, who's been covering posters, holds up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Yeah, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. But it's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a... Words? There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I I agree with Natsuki. I can never in my life do something like that. Imagine it. Yuri shakes her head in fear. In fear. Guys. No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot for them to ask to recite their poems out loud to a whole room of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. But, I still think we should give it our best. I'm sorry, but we're still doing it. Okay then. We're the ones who are responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event, and each put on a good performance, then it'll inspire others to do the same. And, the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. It's about manga. Manga. It's about manga. Yeah, it's about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. I got one of those covered. Finding new horizons. And having fun. That's right. And it's those remaining reasons that we're all in this club today. I choose the word remaining because I don't think there's any other. I've all been wiped out of existence. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if it takes it standing in front of a room for two minutes or saying a poem, then I know you can do it. Mm. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Siri so looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree, because I would never agree to this. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think Siri and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any more arguments left. You... Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice. Haha, -ha, that's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh, you'll be fine, Yuri. I don't like that. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to be practicing reciting in front of each other. No way! Monica! 
This was too sudden. Oh, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off helping everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to a specific poem that she has in mind for herself. Then she stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <coughs> Monica bends reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. I don't. <laughs> is this something she's done before, or is it simply not natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Siori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the reception. Session? Oh no. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica! <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready ne to go next, Yuri? Uh, I'll go next. Oh. What? Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. <laughs> Wah! She's fired up! <laughs> <laughs> Yuri clutches the sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! It, it's called After Image of the Crimson Eye, or After Image of the Crimson Eye. I can't speak today. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she so suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happened when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into sharp syllables and fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns and structure that she immaculates with perfect timing. Wait, that's not immaculates. Hold on. In inoculates? Inoculates is a word? It looked like inoculates, but I didn't honestly think it was a word. This must be a rare glimpse into the wiring fire of Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri stands back into reality and glances around her as she's bewildered, even herself. Snap back to reality. I. It's time for me to save the situation. I'm first to start uploading. Everyone joins me afterward, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. So Yuri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Metal Dough. I can't speak today. My Medo. <laughs> yes, that is the poem we're reading, My Medo. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Why? It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Uh, try not to think of it as reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself. Like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Siori begins a poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made a, it's a perfect match. The poem is, isn't aimlessly cheery like Siori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Siori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Siori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. Hehe, <laughs> even Sarkopus liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? Came out nicely, Sayori. 
the atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Yeah? I don't really understand. My bad. I had to fix something. I had an interruption. No interruptions. In other words, I see your poems of yours with a sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> Then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you to a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? <laughs> don't make me go before Sarkopus. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Sarkopus lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. <laughs> well, fine then. Tell me how you really feel. Natsuki. It's fine, it's fine. Might as well get over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. I could not. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put ears into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm... Really not as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it as much. I think it's less about your ability, more about your lack of confidence in your heading. That's something I approve of a time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. It just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki. Regularly. What is with all these words? I know it's literature. Be grungin. Be grungingly. Be grungingly. Yeah. Gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting! <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. When she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she still is a little unenthused, her poem has a rhyme and a rhyme to it. Oh, rhythm and rhyme to it. I really can't read. It's Nancy's trademark style and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She helps back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Ah, uh, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to write this recite the poem in front of other people? I mean... Doing it in front of other people will make it way easier. I can put on whatever face I want to for other people, but when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, it's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, and I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish playing tomorrow. Then we'll have a weekend to prepare. Monica's the big... Monday's the big day. I can't wait. <laughs> I can do this. I can do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't read. I can't pronounce words. I'm not supposed to be in the literature club. I'm supposed to be in anime club. Alright. <laughs> I stand up. 
There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Yuri and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. It's for the, if it's for the sake of the club. And impressing Monica. I don't care to impress Monica. Then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Yuri? Yep. Look at you two always going to home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. Must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Succubus. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. Well, I could have made a better reaction to that. I want to slot my MC sometimes. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have changed. But today, Sayori's being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori? Hmm? Sorry, I was spacing out. No, oh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. Like how we get to... Uh, I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So let's just say that one day, Natsuki has to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on spot here. <laughs> well... Well, I mean, I'd love to walk home with Natsuki, but I mean, I always walk home with you, so just still walk with you. Sayori, you really think that I would ditch you for Natsuki? I mean, in most cases, yes, but not in this. Eh? But she's so cute and fun to be around. Jeez, I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you seem to really like going home together. I won't just ruin that for you. <laughs> You're so silly, Zarkopus. You think about me too much sometimes. Not you would deserve it if she wanted it, so... Siori, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point of speculating something that's never going to happen? Hmm? Conversation trails off. Yeah, that's weird. It's kind of a weird thing Siori to care so much about. But I want to suspect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival's only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. That's odd, why is she trying to bring up Natsuki walking with me? Alright! Pure! Uh, ba 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 strawberry! Wa 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 Kawaii! Mmm... Lucky? Yep. Oh well. I like strawberries too. Um, play, cheer, papa, puppy, dazzle. I'm getting a lot of Sayori this time. Boop, bunny, boop the bunny, boop the bunny, and calm him. I'm getting, uh, this might as well be a Sayori poem. And calm his cheeks. Calm those cheeks with the precious passion of a massacre. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, holiday. So you can nibble on a cute marshmallow, sugar, pink goodness. I don't know. <laughs> Trying to make an actual sense on that sucks. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry. I just waltz into. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club, now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Uh, I can't wait for the festival. Oh wait, you were happy about it, huh? It's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I'm over. <laughs> like, what? Weren't you just complaining about it? Weren't you complaining about it yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of school where you get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they have fried squid? Fried squid's actually pretty good. 
That's squid. That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Mon. Ika. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke made no sense in translation. I don't get it either. Uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for today. Hee <laughs> hee, fine fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Siori's anyway. Excuse me, where is Siori anyway? Oh, there you are. Siori's sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at them. I walk over to her. Hey, Siori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Yeah. You're spacing out again. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Tell my me. You can go talk to everyone else. No. No, no. You don't get to be me. I'm gonna sit here and talk to you. Huh? Is everything alright? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? No, something's wrong. It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine. See? Shuri shows a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. Yo, why? Are you an idiot? You need to spend time with her. What the hell? I feel like she's depressed. I feel like she's really depressed. And this idiot of a human being that is not letting me make decisions for him is screwing her over. I worriedly glanced at Sayori before turning my back towards everyone else. But the conversation was already dispersed, with everyone back to their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Mondo if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approached Monica, who's shuffling through some papers at her desk. Sarcopus, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into this too much, but she seems a little downcast lately. Oh, you think so? Can't say I've noticed anything about her. Mark appears across the room at Siori, who's idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down on her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised it's not... Um, wait. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Sarkopus. What do you mean by that? You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything at all, so I'll drop it now. No, no, it's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Yeah. Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she's just had a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Sarkopus. Me? How on earth can you come to that conclusion? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because I'm not a dense idiot. Well, I probably shouldn't say too much. But Siri talks about you more than anyone else, you know? Eh. She's been much happier since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside her. What? No way. She already was always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than how it always been. <laughs> You're so funny, Sarkopus. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Yeah, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to the conclusion, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh, Alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get the words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room where Siori is. I watch her nail down to Siori and gently talk to her, but to keep her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Siori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but it's possible to do it when she's behaving like this. How exactly, oh wait, exactly how much do I care about her? I'm letting this weigh me down so much. Now it feels like I'm the only one behaving out of the ordinary. 
But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Manga! Speaking of manga... Hey you. Yeah. I look up to see Natsuki next to me. Are you just gonna sit there and stare at nothing? There isn't much time, so... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's not like I'm worried. I was just... Natsuki glances down at her side. She's holding a volume of manga in her hand. That's right. Something just came up for a minute, but we can still get started now. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez. Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something's bothering you, you can just tell me to leave you alone, and I will. I mean, assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. She practically mumbled that last part. No, I'm probably making it seem like a bigger deal than it is. I think you're an idiot. I've just been thinking about Siori, that's all. Siori? Oh, oh, yeah. Thinking about her? Yeah, she seemed pretty down today. But she didn't want to admit it to me. So, I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh. Natsuki as hells. Well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. But anyway. <laughs> You're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Then in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then you would be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. You can always avoid it. If anything happened... Oh, wait. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because that's not that important. I disagree. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against the witches. Exactly. If she needs you to worry about her, then I'll be a lot more obvious. Oh, then it will be a lot more obvious. Yeah... I should have thought about that way from the start. That's how you fizzle with the book she's holding with her hands. She surely means a lot to you, doesn't she? Eh. Don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. Look, now you're not dense. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... I was not. Jeez, if you're fine, let's hurry up and get started already. Yeah, yeah. Sundary power. Oh wait, what? No! I did quick what what where's my special time? <laughs> okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out the club room. Why don't we show our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everything goes to her two fit poems and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she talked about with Siori. Who should I show my poem to first? Well, you know, she's always been down. Let's go ahead and say hey. Hmm? It's nice, I guess. Come on. I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. Okay, no. You're not. You're sad. I don't think what Maka said to you helped you. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Nazi. Eh? No, a lot of it actually has you in it. I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant though. But it's okay. You're making new friends just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Sarkopus. Siori. Is there something wrong? Huh? No. Nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright, just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist, you are an idiot. Talk to this chick. Play with her. Force her. Uh, I think I'm going to choke this man. I'm going home a little bit early today. Siori, tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sori truthfully walks into the classroom humming to herself. I didn't get to see a poem. Huh. I don't like that. Alright, oh, Natsuki. Now that I have even more to worry about, about Sayori. Let's see, let's see. You're certainly enthusiastic today. Of course. You know I like your writing. I'm just surprised. It seems like you had a lot of trouble admitting that before. 
Well, well, of course. I just had to put you in your place a little bit. It's not like I... I mean, it's not like I was shy or anything stupid like that. Or jealous. I really wasn't jealous. <laughs> just because you happen to be a good writer. That's such a dumb thing to get jealous about. Ha 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 ha. Natsuki. What? You're not very confident about your writing, are you? Uh, uh, what are you talking about? My writing is obviously the best. Right? It took me a while to figure it out, but I think I finally did. Maybe Nancy acts so arrogant because she's trying to make up for her own insecurities. If she acts like she's the best, then other people might think that way too. Right? Sarcopus? Please just tell me you like my poems. I don't care if you hate them. Just please tell me I'm the best. I just... I just really need to hear that from someone. I know I sound stupid, but there's a reason I've never shared my poems before this. Natsuki. Because... Just no one ever takes me seriously. What's the point of sharing my poems if people just laugh and say that's so cute? Just like you, Natsuki. Sometimes I don't want to be cute, but nobody understands that. I try really hard when I write. Style doesn't matter. The emotions are there. Why can't anyone see that? I just want... Natsuki trails off. Maybe it's because her lips started to quiver? I look down. Her fists are clenched really tightly. Hey, Natsuki. If you're not careful, you rip your own poem. I gently grab the poem with my own hand until she relaxes a grip on it. I place it flat on the desk and smooth out the wrinkles that she put into it. Don't read it. Before I can pick it back up, Natsuki snatches the poem from the desk. It's not any good. And I know you hate my poems. So you don't have to read this one, okay? But I want to read it. W why? Because I like your poems. I really do. Why would I judge you for your style? It's not like my own style is anything crazy. It's a bunch of words scribbled on paper with absolutely no connection or meaning at all. <laughs> I mean, it's true that the first time I read one of your poems, it didn't look I didn't look like I was into it, but I know you better now. And it's wrong for you to think that your style is more immature than hers, or amateur than hers. It's your... Well... She always means well. But sometimes she's so focused on simple happiness that she doesn't understand what people really want. Yeah, I guess I never really thought about how hard it is for you. I'm really sorry if I was part of that problem. I understand now. You're not just cute. You're a lot more than that. Natsuki, you're doing it again. Once again, Natsuki clutches her poem a little too hard. She looks down, hiding from... <laughs> <laughs> she looks down, hiding her eyes from me. I never realized how difficult it was for her, but finally she forces herself to extend her arms and set her poem on the table. You can read it. Just turn that way. I don't want you to look at my face right now. Okay, I will. Because you. Ah, this was for me. I bet. Tomorrow will be brighter with me around. Wait. Yeah. Because you, tomorrow will be brighter with me around, but when today is dim, I can only look down. My looking is still a little more forward because you look at me. When I want to say something, I say it with a shout, but my truest feelings can never come out. My words are a little less empty because you listen to me. When something is above me, I reach for the stars, but when I feel small, I don't get very far. My standing is a little bit taller because you sit with me. What, trying to call me short? <laughs> I believe in myself with all of my heart, but what do I do when it's all torn apart? Or torn all apart? My faith is a little bit stronger because you trusted me. My pen always puts my feelings into the test. But I'm not a good writer, but my best is my best. My poems are a little bit dearer because you think of me. Because you, because you, because you. That is cute. Though I butchered a few of the last parts, that is cute. And I shouldn't think that. It's very endearing. Why are you looking at me like that? If you don't like it, then just say it. I won't get mad. No, it's not that I don't like it. It was just a little surprising to read. 
I guess I'm not used to hearing such nice things coming from you. Don't just say that. Dummy. <laughs> Baka. Oh, come on, you should have said Baka. It'd be so much funner. What do you think the point of the writing is? Expressing things you can't just say. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry for missing the point sometimes. I always mean well. And I'm happy that you showed this to me. I liked it. Well, yeah, I'm a pro, so... Natsuki mumbles, completely failing to sound confident like she usually does. Just remember that I can think these things sometimes, too. You know, you're nice to me. It's meaningful. And I'm glad. Sensing Natsuki is satisfied, I start to hand the poem back to her. But as I do, Natsuki takes my hands and pushes them back away. Her soft, small hands surprise me with their assertion. I don't want it. Why not? I just don't. Jeez. I realize that Natsuki is doing. Unable to be honest, she's trying to give me the poem in a roundabout way. Well, in that case, I'm going to keep it. Instead of teasing her, I choose to go along with it. Good. If you didn't, I would... Never mind. I'm just glad that you want it. Natsuki bat pedals on her words and leaves it at that. Despite her best efforts to hide her expression, I can see her smately. <laughs> faintly smiled to herself. <laughs> That's all for now, so go put away for someone sees it, okay? Uh, yeah. I'll go do that. With that, I return to my seat so I can put away Natsuki's poem. Who should I show my poem to next? Let's go throw it. Get the devil out of the way. I feel like she's the devil. If I'd pick anyone evil, it'd be Monica. Hi, Sarkopus. Have you thought about what you wanted to submit for the perform at the festival? Well, being in the club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. Let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hand. Sticking with Nazi style once more, I see. I don't know, I got a lot of Sayori in there. Mm hmm? You really like Natsuki, don't you? And that's... Oh, come on, Sarkopus. I off... It's awfully suspicious, you know? Spending time with her in the club room every day. Pretending to like the same manga she's into. You know how Natsuki is. If you don't indulge... If I don't indulge her, she'll end up hating me. Eh? No, I think you're misunderstanding, Sarkopus. It's not... That... Wait... It's not like Natsuki just hates anyone who doesn't give her what she wants. Yeah, she's assertive, but she's not that selfish. In fact, I think you're the only one who's indulged her as, as much as you have. Is that so? I kind of knew that, but I just don't want to admit it. So I need to ask one more thing of you. Be careful, please. Natsuki's kind of unpredictable. A lot of times she doesn't even know what she wants. After all, she's the youngest one here. She might not know how to handle her own feelings properly. What I'm saying is, if something bad happens... Then... It could end up damaging the club too. And... You wouldn't want to do that to me, right? I don't like you and your assumptions. That's, I'm not sure how to respond to Monica. While I care about her in the club, it's also kind of unfair to bring that up. Well, you're smart. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Monica smiles sweetly. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, right? Er, alright. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. A lady knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose. And all that was ever sought. And here I am. A feather. Lost adrift in the sky. A victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope. Knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me. And all others have turned away. The legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Till one day the wind ceases to blow. Or ceases to blow. I fall. 
And I fall, and fall, and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and the forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back a foot, and I pick up a gust of wind. So we went from everything having no meaning and no purpose to a lady that knows everything and her finding that there's no meaning and no purpose. Is this about you? Because last poem seemed about you. Is this also about you? Are you the feather afloat or are you the lady? You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are sorts of things that give life to meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but... It was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost... Apparently, I gotta need to go back to school. I'm sure that the X is silent. <sighs> I didn't realize how much this would make me look stupid. <laughs> because if we had all the answers wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning you know there's one thing I noticed seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about the things that are more sad than happy <laughs> are you surprised I mean if everything was okay we wouldn't really have anything to write about would we humans are two dimensional creatures I don't think wait I think you know that better than anyone I don't also like that that's an interesting sentence, two-dimensional creatures, and then I think you know that better than anyone. No, I don't like that. You mean one-dimensional? Oh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Marcos, right into the day. Nope, you know something. You know something. Tell me your secrets. <laughs> Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid that it's not good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, the sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of you just telling that your writing is good or okay or bad, they want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things that you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way. And it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. And time for the mature one. Yeah. Yuri doesn't look too enthusiastic about spending time with me. I guess if she changed her mind, she'll come to me. But I should leave her be for now. What? So we don't get to see Sayori's, and because, oh, she doesn't look enthusiastic, maybe I just shouldn't go there at all. What the hell is wrong with this MC? I want to strangle. Let me strangle. Strangle. St give me give me his head uh, you, uh, can I put it on a spike may you put his head on a spike and it can just uh, sit outside of the school this is a horror game right I could put the empty spike on the head because he's such a fucking idiot right right I can do that right I think I can do that Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri is immune to it. You... Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Stop it! In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Yuri isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. Yuri always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little bit when she's not around. 
Where the hell did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Nasuki, please heal some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously, of all the times not to go home with her. You pick the time she's not feeling well? So much of you two being all lovey-dovey. No, no, first of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Siori. Second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force it. Oh, that's a curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything's fine. What did you say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation, so I... I strangle you while I'm at it. Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right, Nati will be making cupcakes. But we need to find a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself? Challenge accepted. And for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Siori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can... Um... Hmm? Guys? Can you help me come up with something for Siori? Uh, I'm useless. No, that's... That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? Hmm. Now Natsuki's pounding too. Jeez, even I can't tell now. Even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Siori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case, but if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. Siori, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. You should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at the desk and focuses and starts nodding to herself. Yes, atmosphere. Yes. Death and horror and horrible, tangent atmosphere. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. That just leaves you, Sarcopus. Oh, wait. But anyway, that just leaves you, Sarcopus. The one who tr <laughs> The one who is truly useless. Uh, tell us that. In fact, both Natsuki and Darius have pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You can always help me out as well. Um, I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Am I suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I won't mind a bit of help. Well, even if I don't know how to... Oh, wait. Well, even if you don't know how to bank, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not that Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting in your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you miss him that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Sarkopos may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're, you're just trying to make excuses for Sarkopos to- What are you saying? It, it'll be extremely meticulous work. And baking is it? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Sarkopos to decide how I would like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten a chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. I'm sure, he, I'm sure he's interested in- You literally just said- I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. No. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah, Sarkopus, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm going to go with... I feel like I should spend time with Sayori, but that would be spending time with Monica, because Sayori's helping Monica, right? Actually, I could just be the usual person, a bit Natsuki, because I like Natsuki more. Siori does need help, though. Hmm. 
Yeah, I feel like the person in the most need right now is Sayori. But... I should pick Sayori. I should pick Sayori. No, I'm pick Sayori. I mean... If it's not going to be anyone, then I prefer helping out Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? No. No, no. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? Well, fine. Oh, well, baking sounds like it could be fun. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so we could probably use two people. Don't worry, baking's a ton of fun. We'll definitely agree. Eh? Just a minute ago, you were saying that that's because... Never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. Well, that's sad. That's good. Even though Yuri's being melodramatic, it's a little hard not to feel bad. So, everything's right. Anything else we need to talk about? No? I think that's it? Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except for the performance is going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, our performance is going to suck. I don't think that really counts. What about you, Succubus? Me? Uh, I guess you can say I'm interested to see how it will turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. Natsuki starts pounding too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. We might as well... Or... It, well, it might not just be that. I think that Yuri is, might be feeling a little unappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. It doesn't mean you... Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone's with a worried expression. Look, Natsuki goes over and puts her hands down on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here and... And you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, cupcakes will probably help a lot too. But you're going to make the atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way people feel during your performance. So you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Natsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but... <laughs> I don't mean anything I just said, but you know. Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken back by Natsuki's words. Natsuki of all people to be saying such encouraging things. But I begin to understand, Natsuki was trying to sound like Siori. Even if it didn't work out perfectly, I could tell she tried to say something Siori would say at a time like this. Because Siori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to screw up everything. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more left for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so... Fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Um... Where do you think you're going? Eh? We still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally wouldn't have gotten home and realized that you don't even have a way to contact me. Oh. <laughs> That's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? <laughs> Natsuki gives me her number. Okay, uh, I'm coming over on Sunday. I bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? I need to clean. My den's quite dirty. Well, yeah, what's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. If I could have a guy over in my house, my dad would kill me. Really? It's kind of strange if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I'd feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just need to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I need from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me? Yeah, uh, I'm really going to show you why I love begging so much. So you better look forward to it. Oh. Didn't you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act light in front of everyone else. That I was looking forward to this? Wait, really? 
Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Uh... Never mind. What? Stay and talk to her at least. You can't talk to anyone. This MC is so dumb. I can't believe this. As he's going to be coming to my house on Sunday. Even though I would have preferred to do it with Sayuri. I can say any I like it. <sighs> My anxiety shoots through the roof. <laughs> I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might happen when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Oh, but we do. Besides, like Monica said, it's about the club. Yeah, sure. Yeah, the club. Mm -hmm. That's what they call it these days. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. Alright, guys. I am going to stop it there. Between... Uh, I say I want to try to get another two, three videos out of this if I can. And uh, as I said, I got mods planned out. Hopefully, my reading and voice will be better. Right now, it's been very scratchy. So yes, and also I can't read many, many of the words that were in this. Okay, so it doesn't. Ah, it just does the last bit. Yeah, I could not read. A lot. <laughs> so yeah, that was an experience. It's still a fun. I'm seeing a whole lot of foreshadowing for horror, so I'm sure horror is just around the corner. And I'm seeing so much foreshadowing. I love Natsuki. I don't know what could happen wrong with her, honestly. Yuri might have a weird hobby, but beyond that, I don't know nothing about Yuri. Besides my MC being an idiot, not finding out anything. She already seems depressed, and that's boring. I would like to check on her if MC would like to grow a brain cell or two. Monica scares me. Monica knows things. Monica knows things about the game. Maybe the fact that she's in the game, I don't know, she knows something. Oh, that was very clear. Uh, beyond that, I think I got most of that down. Now, hopefully my reading will get mildly better. <laughs> <laughs> as I keep doing these. But I did want to keep it going. I didn't want to just halt it to a stop. Because I remember when Doki Doki first came out. I was I was wanting. I was eager. I was sweating for the next uh, Doki Doki video from someone. And I got it. And I was so happy. Just to see the rest of the story. I didn't even care about the person. I just care about Doki Doki. <laughs> if that's the case for y'all. That's fine by me. But thank you guys for watching the video. If you do like it and you want to see more Doki Doki with all the other mods I have, then please let me know by liking the video or just let me know in the comments. Also, check out my Twitch. It's got the first Doki Doki on that one as well. So yeah, guys, let me know. And I will see y'all the next time I come out of my lair. Bye-bye.